we had to follow our mandatory retirement age. And if we did not, then there would be a penalty to pay. Now at 6, preventing a penalty. The Fort Wayne Police Department is breaking a law, and now city leaders are trying to change that. Good evening, I'm Adam Widener. Heather has the evening off. Almost a year ago, 15 Finds Out exclusively exposed Fort Wayne officers over the age of mandatory retirement. Now city leaders are laying out a solution to raise that retirement age after a revelation that violating officers can't legally use a popular retirement plan. It's the latest development in our investigative series, Too Old to Patrol. It's a violation that drew criticism from both police unions last year. I think as a police department, it becomes a little bit hypocritical that we enforce some laws and not others. Fort Wayne City Code says officers must retire by age 60. Last April, 15 Finds Out discovered at least eight officers over that age. One in his 70s, another in his 80s. Since then, the officer in his 80s retired. It's been like out on the books for years, but just not ever been enforced. Needed to do something with it. Both police unions, the police chief, and the public safety director are now all on the same page. They want to raise the mandatory retirement age from 60 all the way up to 70 years old. We've come to an agreement on something that didn't take us a long time to, to uh, hammer it out. You know, we were able to sit down quickly and, and get it resolved um, once we identified a problem. Tim Selvia is the vice president of FWPD's Labor Council. He said that problem was recognized when the union president called the state retirement system regarding the violations. The last time we had communication with, with the PERF, it was that if we didn't, if we, we had to follow our mandatory retirement age. And if we did not, then there would be a, there would be a, a penalty to pay. The penalty involves drop benefits. It's a popular retirement plan that allows officers to pick a retirement date three years out. From that point on, three years worth of pension money goes into a separate fund. Then on the day they retire, officers can collect that fund up front in a lump sum. Probably range anywhere from 75000 at a minimum to well over $100,000. They could pay their mortgage off. They could basically get themselves completely out of debt. But state law says if an officer violates the mandatory retirement age, he or she can't participate in the plan. We definitely didn't want any of our members to, to pay a penalty for working past, past the 60. If the ordinance passes, more officers can legally use the drop benefits. But when it comes to the officer in his 70s, president of the Patrolman's Benevolent Association, John Bonar, says... The way it was put to me was that uh, once it's passed, he will... Uh, be asked to retire by the end of the year. 15 Finds Out is working to see if any Fort Wayne officer has illegally collected drop benefits over the age of 60. Public Safety Director Russ York says the motivation for the new retirement age isn't pension benefits. He tells me the amendment is sponsored by Councilman Marty Bender, who also happens to be one of the officers over the age of 60. It'll be introduced in City Council this Tuesday night.